In our business news, banking fraud in Africa is on the rise, with countries losing billions of U.S. dollars. A News Africa business producer Ntogo Zokumalo investigates the numbers and what they mean for the continent. Fraud has grown tenfold in Africa over the last decade. The banking sector has been hardest hit, facing new challenges on a daily basis. And the introduction of new technologies only spawn new risks and, with them, a new breed of criminal. The Banking Fraud Investigations Department says it is evident there is still severe lack of preventative solutions designed for Africa's banking sector. Fraudsters are becoming better equipped and more sophisticated, leaving law enforcement agencies, banks and solution providers lagging behind. West Africa's largest economy, Nigeria, lost at least 10 billion US dollars in the banking sector through fraud, corruption and mismanagement. And its East African counterpart, Kenya, saw banking fraud more than triple in the third quarter of 2010. The banking system seems to have become a private treasure trove for staff who see working in a bank as a license to collect cash. According to the BIFD, most fraud is not reported and police involvement in the soaring number of cases is a direct result of the passive reactions of the banks. Dozo Kumalo, E! News Africa, Johannesburg. Well, early on, I was joined by Johan Barnard, managing member of PPTI Africa, which focuses on banking fraud prevention on the continent. And I started off by asking him, how severe is this problem in Africa? Uh, unfortunately, statistics is not available in Africa. So, um, countrywide, we may be, various countries can come up with statistics. Yeah. Uh, what you need to remember also is that those are only about cases that is actually reported. About 50% of banking fraud cases is not reported. Yeah. Okay, if you look at uh, um, late last year, Kenya uh, also um, released a report uh, whereby in the first quarter they lost something like $246,000. Second quarter, that jumped to $4.8 million. US dollars. By the third quarter, the loss for that quarter alone was $20 million, almost $20 million. That's a lot of US dollars. So there's a lot of... Uh, ATM mm. and banking related crimes taking place. I was about place. to ask, well, what are the most common types of fraud do you see? Well, the most popular, I suppose? Definitely by, um, by a mile, um, card fraud is the biggest in Africa. Um, spe specifically um, mm -hmm. skimming. Yeah. Second to that is cybercrime. It's catching up very quickly. And that causes a major problem because you know, cybercrime is a different type of uh, criminal that you're dealing with. Yeah. You can't see if you don't know where he is. No face, no nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, very difficult to investigate. Yeah, but, uh, but expensive. At, the, at the same time, you're saying cybercrime is growing, but then you've got Africa moving on to banking on the cell phone. I mean, all that that whole sector is growing at the same time. So it, it correlates, doesn't it? Works hand in hand. It does. But yeah. what you also need to remember is that a big part of this is, is to do with legislation, and legislation needs to govern this. And banks only do what they are told to do yeah. by legislation. So where's the problem? Is it the government? So they're not legislating properly? Is that what you're saying? A part of the problem. Other part is the banks are doing enough, mm -hmm. but which can actually actually can do a lot of uh, a lot of the time. Give us an example. I mean, how how do you stop somebody, you know, getting on their computer and getting onto your account as a bank? You know, it's difficult. Um, it's about education. Mm -hmm. um, the banks need to uh, educate their employees. Um, once again, that education and their skills needs to be rolled down to the consumer. The yeah. consumer needs to educate themselves to safeguard themselves. So yeah. it's, a, a, it's a rolling effect. And yeah. if the banks are not doing it, if the government is not doing it, uh, the consumer at the end of the day He's sitting with the problem. Yep, and uh, I mean, you, your institution goes and trains people, uh, the banks themselves, but you have a lot of people in the banks committing a lot of this fraud. Part of the problem. Yeah. How do they solve that? <laughs> <sighs> Ethics. 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 It's an it's a ethic problem. Mm -hmm. um, also, you know, uh, um, another big problem in Africa uh, in banking sector specifically is document fraud. Yeah. That's an internal problem most of the time. Mm -hmm. The people inside work with syndicates outside. And we see a lot of foreign in syndicates now also moving into Africa. Yeah. And they, once again, train people, local guys, yeah. to do all the dirty work. Okay, that was Johan Barnard chatting to us a little bit earlier on.